Hello my delicious co-creators, Lilu here in beautiful Thailand with Mangta Shia here in the Tao Garden, the health and spa resort you have created. Uh, you started constructions actually 21 years ago, is that right? Yes. You must be so uh, amazed to see all these people now running through your resort and learning Tao and practicing it for real and put all these books out. I mean, you have quite an amazing uh, career and, uh, and life. And you're the expert, can we say, on Tao? Uh, that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely study it thoroughly. Uh, and I want to start right off in, in what is ult the ultimate goal of of Tao. I, yeah. um, it took me 45 years of teaching to understand uh, the whole thing and um, we call when they, when they release the picture of the whole universe a cover with violet light and uh, they are interconnection like our brain and those interconnection they have and they have energy in the connection together, like brain, so they communication together. And so they said this energy has intelligence. And that's what my master told me that the soul and the spirit is an intelligent energy. And it make me understand all. Oh, the whole universe, because the Taoism always talk about violet light, and many traditions also talk about violet light. Yeah. So now we understand that in the in the universe, they are interconnecting like the quantum leap. But now they prove that after they take one million picture, and they prove that the whole universe are covered with violet light, and they have intelligence in the connecting together and control the whole universe. And I understand the word now. They said oneness with God, or oneness with the universe so we become part of the universe mm. and that is the goal that we want to go back mm. but in the Tao say in the, uh, so every day there are newborn spirit coming out burning from the universe but they are like a baby mm -hmm. like a child and then they will grow up and uh, and the rule is they have to have a physical because their energy they have no form. So they need to have a physical because the physical can is like a carrier for them and they can express and they can learn and they can the physical can produce energy to feed them and they grow and later on when they grow up they can learn and have wisdom and knowledge and they can go up to the universe and become part of it. So that's why the goal in the Tao we always talk about a baby soul and baby spirit. Mm. And now I understand mm. because the universe have so many newborn spirit mm. and they never develop. But if they don't have a chance to become a human, they never develop up into an intelligent one to become part of the universe. Yeah. So now the Taoism always say that we come to the world inherit a baby soul and baby spirit. And many people come to the world and they don't know it. So they eat, they drink, they, they, they eat, drink, work hard, or sex, or drugs, and everything. And they drain all the energy. Energy is the one that holds the soul and spirit here. Mm. When the, soul, the energy is gone, the soul and spirit left. Yeah. So a lot of people, they, they come to this world and they don't know it at all. So they drain all the life force. When they leave the world, the soul and spirit still remain like a child. So we say a wandering ghost, lost soul, and hungry ghost because they lose this physical and they are baby and they get lost. So right in the, in the Halloween day, we always want to trick them because they are child. So the way we trick them, we, we call it tricker trick. We give them a candy to a child and let them go away. We trick them to get away because they are child, they're lost, they get lost. So that's why a lot of a lot of soul and spirit, they left this world in a baby form, in a child form, and they get lost. So the Tao said, this is the major goal. If you understand you have a soul, you're already first enlightenment. If you understand you have a children's soul, you are second enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And you learn and you decide to raise your soul and spirit, a third enlightenment. 
And the fourth alignment, you need to find a system that really, really can provide you enough energy to feed and grow this child. Mm. And that is my goal. Yeah, what you put together, the universal Tao system, and you say it will take a lot, a lot more books to even put this all this together. Uh, the I thought the ultimate, so the ultimate goal basically is to this is the seekness, seeking immortality, right? Can you tell us more about this difference between physical and spiritual immortality? Because you yeah. talk a lot about longevity, but yeah. but but there is more than that, right? What now the 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 soul and spirit. The first step, you have to know that the soul and spirit never die because they're energy. Mm -hmm. So the formula of the Einstein that E equals mc squared, you, if you find the m and you find the c, you can produce an energy. So we have m is physical, and we in the Tao say you are uh, born with the heart fire, you born with the kidney fire, you born with the tongue, so you have fire. If you condemn the loving fire, loving energy, it becomes loving fire, it can transform things. And you combine the kidney fire, we call alchemical fire, combine, and the dantian fire, it can transform things. So that is the one that we transform in the sexual energy and transform them into the spiritual energy to feed the soul and spirit. Because ex sexual energy is an extra energy other than your original force that you have and kidney gene that you have, you cannot do anything with it. But sexual energy can transform. So every religious, they know it, the sexual energy is the most important energy to transform. Yeah. And, and yet in a lot of a lot of gurus say in the world that you have to be celibate. I mean, this happens a lot in India, right? Yes. What do you think about that? To well, reach enlightenment, the celibacy. There are different kind of theory different kind of method. Yeah. Now, celibacy is one thing. But in the Tao said, you can be stay celibacy, or you can, but the whole thing in the thing is transformation. The whole thing is a transformation. So, to if reach enlightenment, to reach immortality, to, to reach awakening. You have to transform it. So you, you celibacy in order to keep the sperm or the egg, the sexual energy. The next step, if you transform it, you can, you, you transform it, and the sexual energy can form, form into spiritual energy and feed the soul and spirit, and they grow up. Now, but a lot of, uh, but in the Tao practice, we have a practice we call non ejaculation. Mm -hmm. So that means you can, we believe that the sexual energy can multiply a lot because the sexual energy creating a human and multiply to a trillion and trillion cells. So one cell of the father and mother mixed together, become one human, and is split into 50 trillion cells. And every year we split. Uh -huh. So a lot of power there. Yeah. So the sexual energy can multiply. So in the Tao practice, a sexual practice is multiply the energy and transform it. And multiply and transform it. Otherwise, you don't have enough energy to feed all the soul and spirit. How about the orgasm and all that? Yeah, the orgasm is a key. Because love and orgasm creating another forces we call bliss and ecstasy. And this is the energy. This is what we call the food of the spiritual energy. Mm -hmm. So that's why in the Tao, we understand it, not only suppression, not only celibacy, but you go in when you feel highly arousal, orgasm, love and compassion, and you combine them together, they become one forces. And these forces, so the, in the physical part, the West discovered that. A DNA renewal need arousal, orgasm, love and compassion and the earth vibration. Yeah. Combined together, we make the DNA split in a proper way. Now, if you split in this position, the cell is very good. But we, if we're under so much stress, so much angry, so much hatred, the cell still have to split. Yeah. But split in a very, very bad condition and remember so many, many bad oh, 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 oh memory and oh, oh emotional. But when you get arousal orgasm in the brain, we call left, right brain synchronized, boom, it's set to zero. It wipe out a lot of oh, 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 emotional, 
all, all, all bad emotional, clear them out. Yeah. It's sad to see, though. And this one, it proved it when I tested in the uh, Vienna and now tested in the Berlin. They proved it that left and right brain is so when you feel arousal orgasm and you have brain orgasm, left and right brain orgasm, boom, it's set. It's set to zero. And now the orgasm spread to the eyes, get to the ear, spread to the nose, press to the mouth. So we call senses orgasm. People are dying for orgasm. Yeah. We are dying for entertainment because something make my eye orgasm. We are dying for all kind of music, all crazy world music, because we want to the ear orgasm. We want to eat and eat because we want the mouth to get orgasm. We want to smell. In some smell, we want the nose to orgasm. And we are dying for orgasm, but we are actually draining out the orgasm not enhancing it. So if you have orgasm here, you bring orgasm up into the brain, into the brain, into the senses, and later on in every organ orgasm. So we call multi-orgasm. So you redistribute. This thing with all the orgasm, because people have orgasm here, and very quick, psh, lose it. You lose the orgasm, it's, oh my God, I want more orgasm. Only a few seconds, a few minutes, and finish. And it never spread up into higher center, and you lose them all. And we keep on looking more orgasm, but we go on the wrong direction. We are spending so much trillion and trillion dollars in entertainment. Yeah. Incredible money. Are we happy? We're not happy at all, because this temporality of eye orgasm, ear orgasm, mouth orgasm, we're spending so much food, and we never satisfy the tongue the appetite, and we never, and the craving, we never satisfy it because you never get a real orgasm from inside to satisfy your senses. Mm. Yeah. Is, is there a way to actually, talking about food, uh, feel that, that orgasmic way about food while eating? Like here there's all these healthy foods. Yeah. Is there a way to be so present in that present moment? Is there a Tao practice that we can, yes. that, that the, we the think Tao everybody can try on? The Taoism we're talking about, drink your food and eat your liquid. That means when you have food, you chew them until it like become water. During your chewing, the air, and we believe the chi in the air, come in and because the saliva has 10 times more dissolved power than the water. So when you chew the food until it becomes liquid, and the air coming in, chi coming in, oxygen come in, nitrogen come in, and become liquid nitrogen and liquid uh, oxygen, and in mixing in the food, now a lot of energy in the food. And when you drink them, the food down, you drink them because it's already pre-digest. Mm -hmm. So you enjoy chewing because the food is more natural and we, nev we don't use the MSG and we don't use the, the, the normal uh, white sugar and we don't use the normal salt. Mm -hmm. So we, we're spending so much time in making broth and all the cooking, we, we want to be more fresh. So that's why you're eating more healthy, and you ch when you chew them, you feel so good about it. Yeah. And you enjoy a normal, simple way of food. Yeah. We're, we're really used to the quick fix, and we want it now and right now, you know? And, and we don't, it seems like it is, it's, you have to be very patient to be a Taoist. Uh, it was a really, really uh, um, sexual relationship, intimacy, food. The thing is that <clears throat> the way of the Tao, I always realize how a natural way work. But the new technology can speed up something, but something more organic, you need time for that. So I always like new technology, can it help me, but not uh, 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 hasten it up. Mm -hmm. That's what I like, the new technology, and understand the nature and go with the nature. And, and, and there's a belief system. You speak a lot about belief systems. Uh, what are some important things to that we can believe in 
that you think we should believe in that could help us in that process? The thing is that the first thing you have to feel that there are forces. That's all. So the simple one, we know that we, uh, Einstein, a, 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 um, Einstein discovered a lot of things. And um, now uh, um, Benjamin Franklin discovered the, um, the gravity. Okay? So um, now we know we have the force of the earth pulling us. And we know the moon have a power pulling the high tide and low tide, affecting women <coughs> in menstruation, aff aff affecting men in our emotionally in a full moon. So we call our men turn to werewolf and uh, hungry for blood, you know. So, so all these things is the force are uh, working on it. But the earth and the moon very small. Mm. So the Tao discovered that they are planets. Some of them smaller than us, some of them bigger than us, but some of them very big, like a Jupiter, like Saturn, very big. They're many, many times bigger than us. And they have a force affecting us. Mm -hmm. The sun we know are big forces affecting us. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that in the Taoism and their proof, there are forces on the North Star Everybody talk about North Star, they know it. We need to recognize the direction. Why? Because the North Star pull us. That's why we always see the North Star to move, because the North Star pull us. And all the planet we have, except the Earth is pulled by, that means the Earth pulled by the North Star, and the rest, no. So there are no living thing. Because the North Star and Southern Cross pull, and the, uh, now we are changing to Vega. So North Star, Southern Cross, and the, uh, Vega, they are pulling the Earth. And the Sun pulls us in, and now the star pulls us out. In the Tao, we believe that Jupiter is so big, have a power of pulling us. So we equal, so we have an orbit. And that makes the Earth survival. Second thing, the axis tilt, and the, and the equator exposed to the Sun. Now, we have hot, warmer, warmer, cold weather. If we don't have the North Star and Southern Cross pull us, the exit tilt toward the sun, we all die. Like all the planet, it's dry out and nothing have happened. Because when it tilt to the sun, the North Pole, very, very hot. Whenever the water boil, we die. You see? So when you expose to the sun this way, all the water in the North Pole boiling, but the rest icy cold, so nobody can live. So that so now if we talk about the force, we believe that now the scientists say said the North Star is hundred thousand times bigger than the Sun. If we put all the planets together, it's still smaller than the Sun. So you see how much power the North Star pull us. So the Tao believe that there are forces. So when you do meditation, when you relax enough, you feel something are pulling you up. Because the axis right, when you align your axis, you feel something pulling you. And the, the North Star pulsing affecting the Earth pulse, many scientists, they prove that way also. But the Taoism know that. So the pulse of all the living thing here, affecting by the North Star pulse. Now the pulses here, and when they're affecting the, the pulses, mm -hmm. that is where all the living things can live. And that's how the, the forces is here. And you have, to do, you have to learn how to feel the forces.